Hey guys, this is the part 2 of my motorbike modeling series. Last time we left off, I modeled the tire. You should watch the video if you didn't already. Today I'm going to finish the wheel, so without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the discs. It can be divided in 10 parts, so I add a cylinder with 100 sides. I select one tenth of the model, I invert the selection and I delete. With the knife tool, I cut the faces to match the picture. Then I add a mirror modifier and I apply it. Add three edge loops. Make a Rodel array, then merge by distance. I already made a tutorial about that, you should watch it if you didn't already, if you want to do it without any add-ons. Make the holes at the intersection of two sides. Once again, select one tenth of the model, invert and delete. Add the other holes. Do a radial array and merge the vertices by distance again. Add some thickness with the solidify modifier. Select the sharp edges. Then add a bevel. Add a circle. Extrude the faces to match its height. Then scale on the y-axis. And delete the edges. Select the top vertices. And press Ctrl Shift B to bevel them. Move your mouse until the vertices meet at the center. Then press C to avoid any intersection. Connect the vertices.
I add a solidify modifier, but first I separate all the parts, that way the faces will not intersect. Once every part have some thickness, join them together and merge the vertices by distance. I chose to make the sides more rounded by adding a bevel. And as you can see, the curvature doesn't match the picture on the right, I will fix it in a few minutes. Select the sharp edges and add a bevel. then delete the unnecessary edges. Once again, I select one-fifth of the model. I invert and I delete. Now let's fix the roundness to match the picture. I use Setflow to keep a good curvature, it's a free add-on that you can download, the link is in the description. I 
add a radial array, then merge by distance, and this piece is done. Let's add the bolt now. I use the circle that I added earlier and I extrude it. Then I add a radial ray. Add a cylinder with six sides. Inset and extrude. Add two edge loops on each side to make a circle. Then scale it and keep extruding. Bevel the edges in the middle with a profile of 0.5 to make the roundness. Delete the interior end gun and add a grid fill. Add a radial array and the discs are done. To make the inner part of the wheel, I'm going to use some faces from the tire. I select some rings of faces, I duplicate them, then I separate them by pressing P. I select the two borders, then right click and bridge. I select the ring of edges, go to the select menu, choose checker deselect, select loops and edge loops. Then I delete them. I select the center faces, I extrude them and I scale them along their normals by pressing Alt Shift S. I do exactly the same to add some details on one side.
then I add a mirror modifier and I apply it. The inner parts can be divided in five parts, so I select one fifth of the model and I delete the unnecessary faces. To make the centerpiece that looks like a star, I use the cylinder next to the bolt, that way it has the exact same diameter. I add some edge loops and I bridge some faces.
I keep only one fifth of the model. and I add a radial array, then I merge the vertices by distance one more time. To finish that inner part, I add some details by extruding and scaling. I cut the five holes at the center. and I bridge them. and the wheel is finally done. Thank you for watching, bye.